Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana. A sellout crowd for the second consecutive night. Nearly 70,000 on hand. They were here for the Saints and the Rams last night. Saints, of course, moving on to the Bears. But we have Tennessee and Virginia tonight. Virginia got off to a great start early in the year, 7-0. They were number one in the nation for three weeks, faltered late in the season, losing three out of four. They'd like to gain a little of that early glory back tonight. Going against Tennessee, the second year in a row, they have been the Southeastern Conference champion. Volunteers to kick off, Virginia to receive. Joey Chapman will put it in the air from the 35-yard line as the Cavaliers receive, and the Sugar Bowl is underway from New Orleans as Jared Washington takes it at the two and begins the game with a run back of 37 yards. Sean Moore, who led the nation in passing efficiency this season, dislocated his thumb against Maryland. He was questionable for this game. He said the other day he's at about 60%. George Wells feels that's enough. He's got Kirby and Sweeney beginning the game behind him. Herman Moore is terrific. We'll see a lot of him. Ray Roberts, the left tackle, 72, is their best offensive lineman. Riles, a good one, too, will be going to the hula ball. This is Terry Kirby picking up about three, as has been the case this year. Four-man defensive front for Tennessee. Rodgers and Bailey, Fuller and Chuck Smith, the best of that quartet. Hardy, Dotson, and Fields. They may move Dotson back to offense next year. Lincoln and McCleskey are the corners. Fletcher and Dale Carter, the safeties. Carter is a man to watch. And all of those volunteers will be back next year on defense. On second and seventh, they pitch it to Kirby. And he takes it out to the 46-yard line. Third down and a long three from just outside the 45. As Sean Moore gets set for his first pass of the game. And he finds his favorite receiver, Herman Moore for a first down. The leaping ability over a seven-foot high jump. From the 49-yard wow. line on a delay. Nothing Whoa. happens there. There's a fumble at the 49-yard line. And a loose ball as Kirby dropped it. He may have been down before he hit the ground. Tom Fuller makes the hit. And that ball was away before Kirby hits the ground. A, a good break for Virginia. They retain possession. No further review tonight. Second yeah. down and 12. And this is Moore rolling and running to the 45-yard line. They were on the plus side of the takeaway giveaway ratio until those last four games. Well on the plus side as Moore's pass is caught. The only thing that's going to concern me about Moore is his velocity. From the 37-yard line, he hands the ball to Gary Steele, who is Fisher seven yards a carry, Brown seven yards a carry. I mean. These guys get great blocking up front. And this is Kirby who doesn't find the blocking on that particular play. 6'5", a 200-pounder, and Virginia in the passing situation. They move him around to get him a single coverage. A third and seven. The pass is caught by Herman Moore. He has to come out, by the yeah. way. He took a good shot. Sure. Look. First down from the 27. There's a penalty. Kirby moves through a hole, takes it to the 17-yard line. The tennis wasn't long ago if you told me the ACC had a big New Year's Day. I would have assumed there was a basketball tournament you, somewhere. You bet. <laughs> First down from the 17-yard line, and that's the fullback, Gary Steele. Johnny Wilson takes his place, number eight. Brian Satola also in at a wide-out spot on second and three. Big hole for the fullback, Steele, who's in for the touchdown. A little change up in the philosophy for the Cavs. They don't give the football to their fullbacks. I mean, they'll tell you, George Welch will tell you, our fullbacks are guards. They block. Steele carried only 35 times in 11 games this season. They don't even block Kerry Bailey, the one defensive tackle. Oh, and you can see that kick was blocked. So the conversion attempt is no good. The block by Jeremy Lincoln of the University of Tennessee absolutely no chance at all of getting that ball up into the air. It was almost flat on the ground when he struck it. They kick it away from Dale Carter and to one of the up men who takes it back to the 45-yard line. Andy Kelly is their quarterback coming off a fine season. Good at the beginning, slumped in the middle, came on with a flourish at the end. Tony Thompson led the SEC in rushing. Cole's a great blocker. Harper and Pickens are terrific. Adams the tight end. And there you have the Twin Peaks, the tackles, McRae and Davis, each a prospective first-round draft pick. 
a penalty flag is down. The catch is made by Vince Moore for a short pickup. Outside on the defense. We'll repeat the down first. Well, pretty close to being shredded toward the end of the season. The five up front. Oliver and Tilly into the linebackers. Wallace and Covington, the corners. Lewis and McLean to the safeties. This is Tony Thompson to the outside and then takes it down to the 45-yard line. They should be able to move the ball well on the ground. It could be able to move it all night on the ground. First and 10, Kelly gives it to Thompson. Thompson takes it down to the 39-yard line. That will get the backup, have him come in and gain over 1,200 yards. Second and three on the option. Kelly Keith seeks the first down. He's close to it. And One half yard per carry average. <laughs> First down from the 35. Here's Thompson. Found no room through the middle, then loses the ball. Yeah. Swinging to the outside, and Virginia has recovered at the 36-yard line. Who's the favorite and who's the underdog? Yeah. Herman Moore is back in the game. That's Moore, top of the screen. Split right. First down, 36-yard line. 7.40 to go first quarter. 6-0 Virginia. Sean Moore. Going deep. And you know it's Herman in the area, but the pass hung up, and Dale Carter was right there. By the time he threw the ball, his receivers were they're out of range. I mean, they were just too far away. Out of the area, go. Yeah. Second and ten after faking to the fullback, the handoff to Nicky Fisher, and he's out to the 46. That's close to a first down. First down, Virginia at the 46. 7:15 to go, first quarter. Virginia leads six to nothing. And through the middle for a gain of three. Nikki Fisher. They've got to get it back pulled together tonight. They could come a long way against Tennessee. Second and seven. Receivers are covered, so Sean Moore will take off, and he gets taken down at the 49-yard line by J.J. McCluskey. Third down and a long four just inside the 49-yard line. Moore, the screen is set up, caught by Terry Kirby at the 50. And with some nifty moves, he picks up a first down. But so far, it's been the Cavaliers that are controlling things. First down at the 41-yard line. A little option, and then Moore back to oh, pass, yeah. and Moore going deep. But that one hangs and is intercepted at the 7-yard line. Uh, that's just, I understand, for Sean Moore. He just can't throw the ball. Saturday. From the eight, Tennessee on first down, trailing 6 nothing. The ball is given to Roland Coles, and Miami destroys Texas 46-3. And how about the Louisville Cardinals winning 34-7? Washington the runs kind of crab-like. He's seeing moving across the field. They're just trying to control the ball to get out from their own goal line. Third and one. They take it to Coles, pitch it to Thompson. He gets to the outside, but can't turn the corner. Jason Wallace knocks him down and not dropping back. He was gaining ground as he went up towards the ball carrier. Joey Chapman, who had a great year, gets off a terrible kick at the Tennessee 28-yard line, first and 10. Sean Moore, the quarterback, sends Terrence Tomlin in motion. Gives the ball off to his tailback. That's Nicky Fisher, who pounds forward. For and he looks about 60% effective. He wasn't playing possum. Second and two from the 20-yard line. And they give it to the fullback, and this is Steele, who, as we mentioned, and they're really oblivious to the Virginia running backs that are scooting by them on quick hitter. It's first and goal from the 10, and there was some mistiming on the handoff. From the handoff, uh, Steele tied the ball ahead. Second and goal from the 9, a minute and a half to go in the opening quarter. Uh, quarterback draw. Moore goes next to nowhere, takes it to the eight, and he's just a big pocket passer. That was him number 14. He's a basketball player. Third and goal. He shoots it out to Kirby, and Kirby gets taken out of bounds at the five. He made his last 10 field goal attempts of the season, and from this range, he was perfect this year. 15 of 15. And this time, the snap and the hold were both perfect, and so is the kick. 22 yards. Field goal by McInerney. Packs on three more for the Cavaliers. Will lead it with 35 seconds to play in the quarter. Nine to nothing in New Orleans. Michael Houston will kick off for the Cavaliers. Short kick. 
and it will bounce out of bounds. So. <laughs> oh, that's another network. <laughs> right. From the 30. That's the Peacock. Right. <laughs> From the 20-yard line, the kick fielded by Dale Carter. He brings it back after the 47. Yeah. First down ball to the 46. Andy Kelly off the play fake. And that opens it up for number one, Vince Moore, for a big game down to the 26. With 11 seconds to play in the quarter. Virginia up nine zip. First down to the 25. And Thompson will be the final play of the quarter. So Tennessee comes in as a six-point pick. But at the end of the first 15-minute session, it's Virginia leading nine to nothing. Tennessee has the ball, second and eight at the Virginia 23. And Kelly hands the ball to Greg Amsler. Number Most people believe Tennessee has the superior manpower, although that certainly has not been shown so far tonight. Virginia doing a good job up and down the line. On third and four, Kelly under pressure as he throws and has it picked off at the one by Tony Covington. We'll have a lot to say about that to the press after the game. He loves to talk. Covington was all over. From the one now, seeking some breathing room, Dave Sweeney. Sean Moore pitches it back, and a nice leaping move by Terry Kirby. We're looking at it. I think he's all right. Sean Moore and Virginia, first and 10 at the 13. They lead 9 to nothing. As number 42, Terry Kirby. Second and seven. 12.54 remaining in the first half. At the Sugar Bowl. Sean Moore. Some uh, good ball handling. But third and seven. Cavaliers from their own 16-yard line. And it's the inside handoff to Kirby, and he fights his way forward. He's going to be close to a first down. The early bird gets the worm. First down from the 23-yard line. Kirby picks up one, takes it to the 24. And he's their, their key man on returning kickoff. So Sean Moore drops back, and then his pass is through the hands of Terry Kirby. Third and nine, and Sean Moore is protected well, and then his pass is incomplete. It is Bill Curry, the son of the Kentucky coach. taken by Dale Carter at the 29-yard line. And he's always a threat to break one, but this time from the 35-yard line. Virginia leads 9 to nothing. Kelly off the fake. And Kelly's pass is caught at the 44-yard line by Vince Moore. And another big gainer for Vince Moore. At the 44-yard line, here's Kelly going deep again. And it is intercepted in the end zone by was double covered he wants a flag there is none McMeans was back there with Lewis you just you made it so easy for the center fielder to get over there and make that play McMeans two assists and a goal he had 21 touchdown passes and only eight interceptions a 50 50 ratio isn't good enough on second and five this play is over before it starts whistles are blowing it dead ball false start on the offense the ball was not Makes it second and ten. Report on uh, Gary Steele, the fullback who went out, aggravated his left shoulder, but is expected to come back. Here is Nicky Fisher taking the pitch, seeking the first down, but he's run out of bounds. They need an inch or two on third down, and Moore will get it himself. And with that little Jim Swink of TCU a second, Welsh finished third, and then Earl Morrill and Paul Horning were in the top five, and Horning came back to win it the following year on first down Moore airs it out for Moore flag. all over him was McCleskey and this time we finally got a flag he may not make it up there since then he had a good touch on the ball as well first and 10 from the 45 yard line Fisher to midfield and that cost uh, Tennessee the Sugar Bowl to Baylor 13-7 in 1957 yeah they lost that one to the Bears yep here's Fisher Escaping at the 50, swinging to the outside, and taken out of bounds at the 46. Very prominent businessman, and they were 
getting together the other night for dinner. The two All-American tailbacks in the 50s. Third and two, and seeking that first down and getting it is Terry Kirby. Gary Seal is back in the game. He's number 44. On first and 10, Sean Moore throws. It's caught at the 40 by Mark Cook. Rolled out of bounds. They're taking advantage of everything Tennessee's giving them defensively. A team that doesn't like to finish second. In good and bad yeah. categories. As you saw, they were also yeah. first in, <laughs> in penalties. Second and eight, seven and a half to go in the half. Virginia up nine to nothing. Here's Steele making the catch. Taking it to the 29-yard line. And you're here to have some fun. Enjoy the experience. Enjoy the game. Just make curfew. Third and five from the 28-yard line. As it's dropped off and then dropped by Kirby. It is a catch and a fumble. I don't know. I just probably nobody. <laughs> First down from the 20. <laughs> a seven-yard gain for Terry Kirby. Taking it to the 13. Virginia up. Nine to nothing and driving. This is the 12th play of the drive. And this is Nikki Fisher who squirts through. It means it's first and goal. Tomlin, number two in motion. Moore goes down the line. Option. Oh. Back. A lot of contact as Fisher. Floyd Miley takes Lincoln's place at left corner. Second and goal at the seven. And this is Fisher, bounces off his own man, and takes the ball down to the one-yard line. As of Tennessee, and their offensive line got all the pregame publicity, but right now it's the offensive line of Virginia that's winning this ballgame. And a little pitch back on third and goal results in a Terry Kirby touchdown. A Terry Kirby walk into the end zone. Yeah. The threat of Sean Moore coming down on the option. Tennessee closed down on Sean Moore and an easy pitch for the six. What a tough group this Virginia bunch is. Yeah. Thomas Jefferson founded this school. Wow. It is. They show their affection in strange ways in Virginia. What would TJ have thought about that? Well, McInerney's extra point is good. 16 to nothing. Keith Anthony Morgan and Dale Carter back to receive for the Volunteers. And we'll get a chance to look at Carter, who led the nation in kickoff return. From the four, back out to the 24, and so uh, control the clock and the line of scrimmage. They've done none of the above. From the 24 on first down, Kelly rifles it in there. Carl Pickens makes the catch. Pickens' knee hit the ground before the ball came loose. Here's Tony Thompson. Out to the 41-yard line. Second and five. Kelly throws it out. Pickens, nice little spin move. Picks up the first down and a lot more. He and good running by Pickens. Thompson, about an eight-yard gain. Second down and two, 248 to go in the opening half. Kelly throws, caught at the 28-yard line by Alvin Harper. Andy Kelly's on target this drive. At the 29-yard line, here's Tony Thompson picking up four. Sam Grady as well, over the Morgan. Raiders. Tony Thompson should have the first down. He gets it to the 18-yard line. First and 10 at the 18, 149 to go in the half. Kelly under a lot Whoa. of heat gets sacked at the 29-yard line by Benson Goodwin. He's normally a drop linebacker. He, that time he dropped Kelly. Second and 21. Kelly under heat again, has to throw it away, and it's third and 21 as for Tennessee at the 29-yard line. One ten to go in the half. Kelly swings it out. That may be a backward pass. No, they say incomplete. Greg Ansler. They don't go away. They leave scars. Lean over here. I'll show you. I was going to ask you what that was. 46-yard attempt for Burke. And he hooks it. And it is no good. 102 remaining in a half. And it, well, we'll show you after this uh, next play. That's what I mean about leaving the helmet on. Yep. Nikki Fisher picks up about three. Field just booting away over there. It, 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 there's a sense of separation, to be sure. Nikki Fisher. 16 to nothing.
Lake, Virginia. Back we come with halftime activities after this commercial message and a word from our ABC team. That's Michael Houston ready to kick off for the Cavaliers. Second half is underway at New Orleans. Carter backs up, fields at the one. Continue to do a great job of Mark McGuire at San Diego State, Sean Moore at Virginia. So great quarterback leading the top four offensive powers this year. Tony Thompson takes the ball out. And a long, a very long schedule as well as on second and short. Roland Poles picks up the first. Tennessee first and 10 up at the 29-yard line. Tony Thompson, the SEC leading ground gainer this season. Second down call at two. At the 36-yard line, the up back to fullback, Roland Cole picks up the first down. First down at the 43-yard line, and the certainly have the size. Five start, the offense, five yards, first and ten. That's all, but Anton Davis, uh, the, the prototypical, I think, uh, offensive tackle in the National Football League. Big, strong, with excellent feet, great feet. First and 15 is Tony Thompson. I would think on the conservative side. Second and 11, short drop by Kelly, throws the out route to Vince Moore, who picks up some extra yardage after escaping, taking it to the 49. Lewis goes hobbling off. He's the guy who had the interception in the first half. Third down and two. And Thompson cannot pick up the first down. It's fourth and <laughs> it's about a yard and a half for the first down. Play clock almost down to the nub. Thompson looks for the first yeah. and I think has it. Big offensive line that Tennessee has. By half the length of the football. 11.35 left third quarter. Virginia on top 16 to nothing. Kelly airs it out and it's knocked down at the eight yard line. Poor throw by Kelly. Second and eight from the 47-yard line. The fake to Thompson. Kelly throws. Open man is Moore. Stays in bounds, then steps out, has the first down. Four catches for him for 78 yards. Tony Thompson for five. Thompson second down and five at the 23. Kelly complete. Anthony Morgan, he has a first down of the 13. Jason Wallace playing way off of Morgan. They go with a little hit. Gain of two. Second and eight from the 11-yard line. Kelly flips it out to Moore. He can only take it to the 10. They need a conversion here. They haven't converted a third down tonight. Kelly looks and throws, and it is caught inside the one, somehow, someway, by Alvin Harper. How in the world did he catch it? But now the other official comes in and overrules and says no. Now they're going to confer. But we're going to look at it. They don't look at the replay in college football. Of course, we're not too used to that. That was obviously a one-hopper, and they will bring it back. Field goal attempt coming up here. Greg Burke, who missed one from 46. This is a chip shot. Or oh, another a, 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 a wobbly snap and a wobbly hold. But a 27-yard field goal that is good. Jason Julian able to get it down for Burke. And Tennessee finally gets on the score. And Joey Chapman kicks off for the Volunteers. It is fielded at the 10-yard line by Jared Washington, who was taken up earlier. Take a look at the Tennessee tackles. Double prime time pop. From the 21-yard line, gain of three, Terry Kirby. The Tennessee crowd has come to life. Second and seven. Sean Moore under some heat. Steps out. Stepping up. Stepping nimbly to the 45-yard line. First down. It's human nature to be a little tentative with something like that, and I've seen nothing that even remotely resembles being tentative by Sean Moore tonight. Terry Kirby 
John Moore, he can be brilliant throwing the football. He's just having a hard time doing it tonight. Now it wound up as Kirby picks up four. He's about a yard and a half short of consecutive nights. Thanks game last night. Third and a short two, and Sean Moore. Oh, what a hit. Picks up the first down. At the beginning of the play, first and ten at the 36-yard line. On a counter play, four-yard pickup for Terry Kirby. Second and eight from the 33-yard line. Moore, and that's a, a throw that's low and incomplete. And four interceptions over 440 passes. Third down and eight for Sean Moore. And he gets hit as he throws. It is ruled incomplete. Try a 50-yard field goal. What a what a key play. Jake McInerney has already kicked one this year from 51. And this one had the distance but not the accuracy. Wide left. Tough. First and 10 from the 33. Kelly throws it away. Everybody. Nothing for Kelly to do. Off the fake. Kelly fires. That was an impressive looking aerial to Alvin Harper for a gain of about seven. Third down and three at the 40. Kelly on an option that was botched can only get to the 41 yard line. Out of a lot of action when your helmet takes on that look. Looks like an old Dave Butch model. Yeah, really. Short punt. Fair caught at the yeah, 31 and flag. flag down as uh, Jason Wallace got hit. Takes the flag. Oh, I didn't mean to. May get him a trip. <laughs> <laughs> May get him. Virginia stunning Tennessee to this point. 16 to 3. And it's the Cavs with the ball at their own 45 yard line. And the left guard for Virginia. Jump. Dead ball. Ball start on the offense. He keeps it out. A few war wounds in various places. First and 15. It's back to Nikki Fisher, who breaks it into Tennessee territory to the 45. They were looking at his shoulder early in this ballgame. He's back in there and playing well. Second and inches in the 45-yard line. And Whoa. Gary Steele, who breaks it for 18 to the 27. First and 10 at the 27-yard line. Fisher. And he's uh, closing in on 100 yards tonight as he picks up seven here. Second down and three from the 20. Steele. But tonight, all Virginia, they lead by 13. First down from the 17-yard line. Sean Moore, for a gain of nine, takes it down to the eight-yard line. Three. On the offense. Yeah, not so in pro football. You are indicted before the masses. First and 20. And down the line. And a keeper for Moore. That bit of a pass. Yes, we've noticed. Second and 16 <laughs> as Moore throws. Tick. Intercepted at the five-yard line. Floyd Miley comes up with the football. First down from the five-yard line. That may have kept Tennessee in the game because had Virginia gone in there. Second and six. Kenneth Miles takes Paul spot. Tony Thompson fights for a first down up to the 17-yard line. First and ten up to the 18-yard line for Tennessee. Final play of the period is a Tony Thompson first through the middle for another first down. Up to the 32. The Revolves trying to stretch and claw their way back into it. As the third quarter ends, 16-13 Cavs. Back to the fourth after this commercial message and a word from our ABC. As his team tries to sustain a drive as we commence quarter number four from the 31-yard line. First down, Andy Kelly hands to Tony Thompson. And Thompson is off to the races into Virginia territory. Whoa. Still on his feet at the 35, down at the 31 by Jason Wallace. And this is special. Carl Pickens also providing a block as Thompson again carries to the 30. 
second and eight. First minute of the fourth quarter. Zimmer up by 13. Deflected. Incomplete. Hit. Third and eight. From the 30. Caught at the 15-yard line by Pickens for a first down. And From 10 of the 15-yard line. Thompson. First down to the seven-yard line. Second and two from the seven. On this ninth play of the drive. Tony yeah. oh. scores. What a move. Well, what a couple of blocks out front. Roland Poles and Anthony Morgan. Both of those guys. Was Morgan and Tony Thompson just takes it in easily. A great, great drive by Tennessee. They did it every which way. They did it with the big run from Tony Thompson. Greg Burke's extra point was good. 12-51 left. 16-10 Virginia. In a way, this should be the Orange Bowl. <laughs> the unofficial count on Bourbon Street, though, has Tennessee a vast majority of the fans here in New Orleans. Jared Washington runs it back from the 12 out to the 32-yard line. First and 10 from the 32. 12.45 to go. Sean Moore pitches it back to Roland Poles. Ooh, and he gets banged out. Second and four. Carter has eight tackles tonight. That's Steele picking up only two takes it to the 40-yard line. It's third down and two from the 40. Moore on a key play. Ooh, does he have it? I think he does. It's going to depend on the spot. First and ten for Virginia. Moore hands it off. And through the middle, Terry Kirby for seven. Second and four. Picking up only a couple now. Is that is the mark of a good football team. And Kirby, I don't think he has it. Fourth and inches, if they do indeed snap it, and they do, and it's a sneak, and it's going to be close. Sean Moore. And he goes on fourth and short at midfield and gets it. First down at the 47-yard line. Steele. Gang tackled and thrust back. Second and nine. Virginia up by six. 42 to go. And more for more, but too high. Oh. Third and nine. Sean Moore's throw is low and incomplete for Dave Sweeney. Another punt. Ooh. Rush was on. And there's the flag. The flag is down. And the kick is brought back to the 20-yard line. Oh, this is going to be a Virginia first down. You've got to go in front of the kicker. He thought he had it, obviously. He just wipes out the... I, I, I can't tell. To no avail. First yeah. down, 31-yard line after the penalty. And good. Second and third effort. Ball lose, but after the play, play is over. Nicky Fisher, under eight minutes to go. 16-10 Virginia. Big rush, gets it away, and into a lot of traffic. The ball was thrown. Austin Freyer for Tennessee. Sean Moore throws off his back foot and incomplete. Darrell Hardy. Yeah, there's Jeffries. I don't think Jeffries hit him. I, I didn't see much in the way of contact. Well, here's McInerney, and he hits one from 43. So that penalty... Keeps uh, Virginia going, gets them within field goal range, and that's a huge field goal because it means that the balls are going to have to score twice right now. 19 to 10 is the margin for Virginia. 7:34 remaining in the rest of the bowl. Pretty good.
good upset in light of the fact Tennessee was favored by six coming in. The kickoff comes down to the five-yard line. Anthony Morgan gets popped out at the 20-yard line. Greg Norman among those expected to compete. The White Shark. At the 20-yard line after the 26, the pass from Andy Kelly. Second down for five from the 26-yard line. But he throws. That's a first down to that man Moore again. Vince Moore having a big night. Throwing that five and six yard pass underneath that zone. It'll be there every time. First and ten from the 38. Here's Greg and whoa, whoa! Good move to the 47 yard line of the cab. This is <laughs> this is good as it gets right there. Right over a good one. Wow. <laughs> to the 47 yard line. Catch is made. Six yard pickup. Mark Adams. Is Second and four from the 41. And look. Seeks the first down. He's close. 37 yard line. He played to a 31 31 tie. First turn of the season. Third and inches. And that's the first down. Greg Amzer taking it. Kicks it down to the 16 yard line. Little change off now at the line of scrimmage. By quarterback Kelly. First and 10 at the 17-yard line. Hamsler takes it to the 15. Four and a half to go. Good protection. Wide open. open man in the end zone. Touchdown. Carl Pickens. Lone defense. Pickens all alone standing in the end zone. It helped because he just releases Pickens. And all of a sudden, now we have a two-point ball game. Greg Burke moves it through. That makes it 19 to 17. Yeah, that is a blown coverage. Thought he had a zone, and Tennessee gets an easy touchdown. Not who scores first, who scores last. From the Superdome, 19 to 17. The Cavs lead by two. Tennessee to kick off. Joey Chapman puts it in the air. Fielded at the five-yard line by Jared Washington. After the 32, he comes. Herman Moore has been a non-factor, just two grabs. First down from the 32-yard line. Sean Moore. Oh, there's a flag. Ooh. Couple another flags. One. Yeah. Another one. Twelve players participating for the defense. Virginia at the 31 yard line after all that 409 remaining in the game. That last play started at their own 31. Cavs lead by a deuce and Moore gets tripped up, takes it to the 29. Picks up a veteran coach for 22 years, from majors, a head coach, and 19 for Welt. Second down and eight. This is Perry Kirby to the 26. It's going to set up a key third and five. But when the when the number one team in the country beats Notre Dame, how do they surrender number one? You would I, think. I don't see how it could happen. But, you know, there's going to be a lot of griping anyway. Third down and five. Sean Moore throws an incomplete. And McInerney comes in to attempt the field goal. It'll be spotted at the 34-yard line. And the whistle sounds. No play. McInerney again, 44-yard field goal effort. And this one is good. Just kept it in the right upright. So whoever the holder was, he made a great effort to get that down. And again, it's Riddleberger who had problems early on. He made a great effort to get that ball down. Otherwise, the Cavs do not get the field goal. Virginia by five. Michael Husted kicks off. And Dale Carter tops in the country in kickoff return from a yard deep. And they've been covering him well all night long. Tennessee has scored its two TDs tonight on their last two possessions. From the 20-yard line, Andy Kelly throws it out to Ramsey. Nice catch. And then Ramsey to the 26-yard line. One-headed step. Second and five, and again. Oh, that's a lateral. A lateral. That's, that's a 
collateral. Oh, that ball, no. They say no. They call it an incomplete oh. pass. Third and six in the 25. Kelly throws and converts on third down to Carl Pickens. Forward progress nets him the first. Where this ball is thrown. You can see the ball travels backwards, actually towards the 17, and Amford drops it. The ball hits right between the 17 and the 18. And I think that was deflected, and that might have uh, played partially into that ruling, but a great reception by Pickens to come down with that football. And here in the fourth quarter, and they've done it without Tony Thompson, who gained 145 yards. Kelly fires, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted at the 22 by Keith McMeans. He was just throwing away, but he almost threw the fatal interception. Second down and 10 from the 45-yard line. Draw play to Tony Thompson, who was just reinserted into the game, and he's dragged down at the 40-yard line on a nice ankle tackle. Third and five at the 40. Harper is the man in motion. Harper makes the catch. Harper has the first down. Harper gets out of bounds at the 33-yard line. This club is getting hot at the right time. 108 to go. Kelly dumps it off for Ansler. He takes it, gets out of bounds at the 30. Second down and seven at the 30. Throws. Did he stay in bounds at the 23? Yes, the catch is made by Von Reeves. Third down. And a short one, and Kelly's going to go for it through the air. An incomplete intended for Pickens. Well, fourth down. Tennessee has to convert here. It was a bad time to have a foul up here also. And it's and Keeps it going, takes it to the 17-yard line. First down, Volunteers. First and 10 at the 17-yard line. Takes to Thompson. Kelly throws. It's caught at the five-yard line. Harper is taken down. It's going to be first and goal. Clock momentarily stops on the first down. Second and goal. Thompson is the tailback. Coles is the fullback. They come up in a power eye with Amsler in that power set as well. And they give it to Thompson, and Thompson's in. Sure. suited to go for two points. They have picked and set all the way out to the right. Harper comes in motion. Kelly rolls that way. Tries to find the open man in the back of the end zone. It's Pickens and the pass is incomplete. Sean Moore in this half hasn't completed a pass. He's 0 for 8. Short kick taken up at the 26 yard line and run back to the 38 yard line. Aha. We're going to see Matt Blundin, London, yep. London rather, who uh, he can fire it. I think it's a good move. I do too. London back to throw, has it deflected, and nobody saw it, and it's incomplete. Chris Min. And I think it's just indicative of, of how bad Sean Moore's hand must be to make a change at this point. It I'm, has to be. Yeah. No question. Second and ten. London nearly sacked. Then is at the 30-yard line by Chris Mims with 10 seconds remaining. The Cavs have one timeout. They can pull back and maybe take a look at the defense the way it's spread out. Third and 17 on what could be the last play of the game. London goes deep, but only Aaron Church are there. And Dale Carter, fittingly one of the finest defensive backs in the country, picks it off and ends the Sugar Bowl as he runs it back to the 25. And the Volunteers erase a 16-point deficit and give Johnny Majors another bowl victory. Well, and I'll bet at halftime he certainly felt he was going to have a difficult time getting. Down 16 and nothing. Great comeback victory and, and a fine performance by the Cavs. Their star quarterback handicap, obviously, Sean Moore with the bad thumb injured in the next to last game.